Hi everyone, hope everyone's feeling good, uh, doing well. Thank you again to all my subscribers, new and old. Uh, if you like the content, please hit the thumbs up and please subscribe. So I just wanted to talk about the last two offers put to me for fights and and the fact that I would have done them both for free. One was The last one was Jack Draper when he offered me a bare knuckle fight uh, that was a few months back and the, the one before that was the Anthony Joshua fight and I would have done that for free as well and I'll tell you about the Anthony Joshua fight after this one but so the last one was Jack Draper and Jack Draper put an offer out a respectful offer out for me to fight him and it was going to be and I accepted the offer it was going to be a bare knuckle fight uh, not in a, not, uh, an organization not in a, a show it was going to be me and Jack with a few spectators and, and in, a, in a field or a farm or something. And we were gonna actually do it old school gypsy rules. And, and I accepted that. I accepted the fight. I'm 46, coming up to 47. And I, I have got a few niggles, knee injuries, back injuries and stuff like that. But I accepted the fight, knowing we weren't gonna get a, pa a purse, so to speak. But I think Jack was then talking about some sort of pay-per-view but I, I mean if we'd have had a pay-per-view that would have been a bonus to me there's a car coming let me let this car go that would have been a bonus um but i was just i was just looking forward to the challenge the motivation the focus and putting seeing if i could get in shape again at 46 and and i knew that it would be good for the channel so i just thought it makes some good content for my YouTube channel, which I was happy with. I wasn't bothered about a purse and all that. If anything, it's the focus and the, ch and the challenge that gives me more of the motivation than the money. Uh, as it happens with, with Jack, he's, he had a B, he's got the BKFC contract. So he, he found out that he couldn't obviously fight in any other, or in any other aspect, any other organization or, or, or doing it like we did. Well, that's fair enough. So, um, and as it happens as well, during training, when I was training for it, I realised my knees and my back are, <laughs> until I get them sorted, I'm literally, I'm, I'm so concerned about fan left hooks and certain shots, it feels like my knee's going to go. So maybe it was a good thing that, um, <laughs> that Jack had, had his contract. Uh, because no matter what would have happened, I would have gone through with a fight, even with injuries. But So it might have been a good thing, to be honest, because I wouldn't have wanted to go in any fight uh, under par. Um, anyway, so going back to the Anthony Joshua fight, I would have done that for free. I would have, I would have fought Anthony Joshua for free. Then I got a phone call from Eddie Hearn to fight Anthony Joshua at Wembley Stadium. Now, as soon as I got that phone call, I was on a building site, and I was, um, I was carrying plasterboard upstairs, 40, 44 kilo plasterboard by myself, there was two lads that were doing it before and I turned up and ended up doing the job by myself. 44 kilos plasterboard, I was carrying them up about 100 stairs or something like that, and I was doing 100 sheets a day. So I was doing four and a half tons per day and I loved it, I was, I was in good shape. I didn't do any running for the AJ fight, no running at all, I just used this as my cardio. But anyway, um, got the call from Eddie Hearn and I would have, if Eddie Hearn would have said, Matt, we've got another geezer here, who will fight AJ for free, so we're gonna go with him, I would have said, Eddie, I'll do it for free, count me in. Because it was it was the Foch Groves rematch, and it was the biggest night in British boxing, and I would have been a fool to turn down the opportunity. A lot of people would have said, well, you're stupid, Matt, you, you, if you're gonna fight, you, you've gotta get money. But I just thought it would be a brilliant platform to fight on that show, and to fight the future champ, and, and, the, and the Olympic champ. Uh, and I still went in my head I was going to win. I still went in there, believe it or not, thinking I could win. I thought if I attack full out, uh, head movement, get low, just try and bomb him out, I thought I could catch him. It didn't happen, obviously, but uh, it was a bit of a kamikaze mission, as you know. But uh, anyway, I would have fought him for free. And same with Jack Draper. The reason I think is because I've always liked to have a challenge and I've always liked to put sort of the fighters want to prove themselves, don't they? When you're a boxer or when you're a bare knuckle fighter or even a street fighter, I think you want to prove yourself. I see people nowadays uh, wanting massive, massive amounts of money for fights. And as it all panned out after the AJ fight, 
I um, had a broken eye socket, so I couldn't fight again for a few months, and I just ended up getting a job in Liverpool, so that put me out. But I still don't regret it, and I still... Uh, I didn't get a great deal of money for it. I didn't get a great amount of money. Um, it was literally... Uh, we included sponsorship. I spent, it was about 11 grand altogether. And, and I had another fight that month, so I got about another three for that. So in that month, I got about 14 grand. I spent it all within a month. And I think it goes back to when I was young, where I always wanted to sort of accept challenges. And I didn't want to ever turn down challenges. It's just the way I was. Uh, I'm obviously getting old now, I'm nearly 50. And I, I was still willing to fight Jack Draper. If I can get in shape and get my knees sorted in my back, I'll probably go down and, and me and Jack agree to do a spa. We do a spa. So once I get everything sorted with my knees and my back, I'll go down and do a good spa with him. So, um, but yeah, anyway, I hope you're all well. Please um, leave a comment and um, yeah, have a good day and we'll catch up soon. Nice one.